welcome back to Homeschool Filmmaker. I want to do this channel because I find myself as a homeschooler that I'm on YouTube a lot, especially finding information on how to do problems and a lot of other stuff that has to do with homeschool. So I'm doing this channel because I want to inspire kids to not consume but create, which basically means not watch it but to make it. So I'm very excited to take you guys alongside with me because I want to teach you as kids or adults how to find art supplies and how to make a YouTube channel because a lot of people want to make a YouTube channel. This channel I want to talk to you about right now what we're going to be learning. We're going to learn how to make a YouTube channel and how to build it. So how to get subscribers is very important, how to get views and likes and how to edit and what, what supplies you need to do it. Now, I'm also going to be teaching kids or adults. I know me as a kid, I love to buy art supplies, but I have learned over the years that I don't always need to buy art supplies because I'm a very creative person. So I have art supplies around the house that I've used but I don't use it anymore. So I'm going to teach kids how you can find art supplies around the house instead of going out and buying it. Now, I watch YouTube and I love learning from YouTube how to do art. I love watching painting videos and slime and arts and crafts and how to organize and I love doing stuff in my room a lot. So I use a lot of art to help decorate my room and a lot of kids want to redecorate the room all the time so I'm going to teach how you can do that without spending a lot of money. The benefits from having a YouTube channel is I get to learn how to edit, how to write, how to organize, how to set up cameras and lights, and how to produce, how to make videos, how to do art, and that's what, those are a lot of things that can help me later on in life. Because there's a lot of good things you can find with producing your video work. So we're also going to talk about how you can plan how to produce the video, and basically how to organize what you're gonna do. So I we're gonna have production meetings, we're gonna we're gonna also do ha, organize. I have an I especially me, it helps me to have a notebook and I like to write down my thoughts and I have certain pages like video ideas so I'll write down what I think. So I always have that with me. So if I'm out somewhere and I think of something I can write it down. So it's helpful for me to have that because it to keep organized and organization is very important. And I would like, like to say this guy, to you guys, if there's a video idea that you have, do it. Don't wait. Grab a, just pick up a phone one day or a camera and shoot the video and pick up a lamp and that can be your lighting. But don't wait. Do it. And another thing I would love to say to you guys is if there's a channel that you like to watch or a TV show, think of ways you can do that. And don't watch it, but do it. Like I said before, cons don't consume, create. And when I was a kid, I know I used to, we used to do this thing as a family where we would pick up a remote and we would pretend to have different channels and we would act it out. So this is like me reflecting back on my childhood, even though I am still a kid. I loved doing that as a family and I'm so excited to do this with my family and with you guys and make a video. Okay, well this basically wraps up the video. And to conclude, I would like to give two shout outs. One to Video Influencers who taught me how to make YouTubes and how to grow, with, grow it. And second of all, to do BRX Studios because my dad runs that and he has inspired me to make a YouTube channel because he can do it so I can do it. Have a nice day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Is there a way that you can do the Scott McKenna 30 Day Challenge?